Well, hey, hey, family, how has it been? Well, let me tell you, your girl has been sick. And I'm only going to jump on here for a few minutes because I feel like I got this energy and I hadn't had no energy or, you know, I've been really sick. But first of all, thank you for joining me on A Sister's Trust. So I don't know if I caught a bad cold from being in the rain or somebody gave me a little bit of that COVID stuff. And the weirdest thing about it, a friend of mine from high school had just sent me a, a text. You know how they send those texts around, let you know that everybody getting ready to be sick. And I think somebody else sent me a text. And, you know, she lived in Tampa, Florida. And anyway, you know, I received a text. So anyway, on, um, for church, we had been um, meeting separate, like in homes and everything. So we all met together on Sunday. Now, I always wear my mask, period. So that's why I don't know if if it's from, you know, when I went to the store, getting in the rain or, or what, you know, what was, you know, where it came from. But it hit me so quick. My energy was down. I just wasn't feeling good. Now, I know they say when you sick, you can't eat now. I still ate. I, I still wanted to eat, have something to eat. So I guess I wasn't that sick as far as food. But, you know, you want your sweets. You just want things that... Just don't be in your reach. And then my daughter car went berserk. And then I don't have no transportation just to run off and grab a snack or anything. So your girl been like down and just out with the sickness. So today I feel pretty good. You know, I've been sick over a week. But let me tell you something. My daughter came by. I had my mask on. And, um, you know, I've been practicing social distancing for my family, you know, because I'm the pretty much the one that's mostly here and um so but I sanitized everything down washed up my bed stuff and so that when my husband come home you know if I had something to spread I wouldn't be spreading stuff and it go round and round and round and so as I sanitized my areas down I still made sure while I'm around the house wearing a mask now I don't have a mask on right now but it's right here even when we had church online on Sunday, I had my mask. They were like, what? But I let them know that I have family in the house. And, um, you know, I didn't want nobody else to get sick for whatever this is. And I don't have time to run to the doctor. So don't follow my lead. If you feel like you need to go to the doctor, go to the doctor. But anyway, my daughter had brought me by a few things. Some of the people at church and another friend, they was taking this. You can see it. Um, it's called emergency C. It's supposed to have a thousand milligrams of vitamin C. And which, oh, I didn't get up to like 11 something today. So I've been up by over two hours. So I still need to take this today. You see that? I've been taking that. And then I've been taking me some cough syrup and, you know, coughing my brains out. I've been having this, I sat at the, um, um, I kind of sat, um, excuse me. Now, when I was busy or not busy, nobody called me, but let me cut this phone off. Anyway, I've been sleeping in my front room because I didn't want to get my husband sick when he came. And also I noticed when I lay down, I cough more. But anyway, so that's just another thing that was going on with my sickness. But I want to stop on here real quick because my daughter had brought me over this onion. And when I talked to her yesterday, she like, did you do what I said? And I remember her talking about drinking and juice from the onion or whatever she said. When you're sick, you can't hear nothing. So what she wanted me to do was put it, you know, on my feet at night. So I got this onion, just a regular red onion. And I chopped it up, you know, not chopped up, I made it so like you do onion rings. I sliced it. And then I got me some socks and I put it on. And I'm telling you right now, I don't know who made up this idea, but it really works. I mean, it drained, I feel like everything is dry inside of my body. I was even feeling, I was thinking, is this what people want to have heartburn? Or you feel like the acid or something burning your chest every time you even think of food, you know, you get this feeling. And if you drink something, you got this feeling. And I'm telling you guys, I don't know what it did. I think it helps with inflammation because it hurts me when I stand up on my feet. These are all the bags I have. And um, I want to show you. So 
<clears throat> so I don't know why I cough all of a sudden now I'm talking to you. Um, so I kind of got my little footy sock and I put it on. I had a hard time. I was trying to put the onion on and then put the sock on and then because you're supposed to wrap yourself. So one of them at the second foot, I just threw the onions in the thing and then I moved the onions around. So I want to show you these onions. Can y'all see that? And I don't know if when you put the onion in your sock. So I woke up, I went to the restroom like three times. So make sure you don't make the onion too thick so you'll be able to walk on the onion. And today when I took it off, my sock was so wet. And I um, wrapped it in like a regular, I stuck my foot in a regular grocery bag and I tied it. And my foot was wet. And the onions were so like, like flimsy and everything. Can you see that onion? And it's from sleeping overnight. And I'm telling you, I don't know what all the jobs of this onion was supposed to do, but what it did for me was it, it must be took down some information. I was hurting in this arm. And I don't know why, if I pull something wrong, it's been hurting me just to pick up stuff. So I remember I was at a craft party last, the week before, I think it was on a Friday. And it was talking about going to get some acupuncture done. Let me tell you, when, when I had that onion going, it, for an hour, I can already feel this onion doing something in my body. Now, I'm not no doctor, no scientist, no nothing. But this arm, you know how you get that numbness feeling? It started all of a sudden getting numb and it was like jumping like this. I could feel it like jumping. And I said to myself, nope, I'm going to keep it. something going on with this onion. I'm going to keep this sock on. And I could feel like like um, little things like sticking inside of my body. So I don't know if it was tacking some problem like I had going on. So then I remember the acupuncture they was talking about. And I kind of got my finger and started digging down into it and just pushing it, pushing those areas in my body. And normally when I'm laying in bed, because you know, I have you, most of you know me, I have problems with my walk and working on my mobility. Um, it hurts sometimes when I the sheets touch my feet or the way I'm laying, so I, I lay with a pillow. Um I, I wonder if it helps to pull that information out of your body because I no longer feel the, the heartburn. Everything is all dried up. Like even when I try to blow my nose, it was nothing to blow. So I don't know what this onion does, but I just want to tell you guys about it. I'll probably do it again tonight. Just like a, because look, I mean, this is like a big difference than I was yesterday. So I just want to let you guys know. So, you know, we on this station, we talk about as we learn, we try to share. It's not nothing scientific, but this is what happened to me. I, you know, like I said, she brought me this red onion. I don't know if the color of onions make a difference, but I sliced it and just like you would, and I separated the onions and I put it in the sock. It's easier, I'm telling you, you got to throw it in your sock, put your feet on and then move the onions around. Like I put some on top of my feet, underneath my feet and I slept in it all night and I woke up and, you know, my sock was really wet. You know, I tied that bag on it, which is good because then you don't get it on your sheets probably. And um, like I said, I'm not hurting right now. My body's all dried up. Like, <clears throat> like I have to make myself cough. Like, I mean, I don't feel nothing. We're in before I feel like I was felt like something was just sitting here inside. I don't know what it does, but I want to say it can't kill you. Don't go die on me. But anyway, it didn't kill me. I'm here. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. Anyway, that's all I got to say. I ain't going to talk y'all to death. And just come back and I'll check me out again because I got other stuff to say on the other sisters' trust. Anyway, that's all with the onions. You guys, y'all have a great day. Love y'all. And I'll talk to you soon.